Maybe a towel and a key. Nope. 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 No. Wait a second. Now the towel is soaked with turpentine. If that's how you even pronounce that. I better not hold on to this for too long. Oh. So we actually made something. I soaked the towel with turpentine. Can we touch it? I'm not dirty. Okay. If you tell yourself that. Now we have to figure out where to put this towel to, I guess, then. You know, there is a hole right here. Ooh, wait, that's the picked area from the beginning of the game where we saw the hooks, isn't it? It's the room in the photo! Yeah, I was right. Can we touch it? I can't do anything from here. How to talk to it? I don't particularly want anyone to actually answer me. Good point, good point. Alright. Now... There has to be something around here. I guess I'll just take the towel and touch everything. I don't think I should try and freeze that. I don't want to leave that there. There was a picture of this in the photo, so it's probably around here. Oh, hey, it did something, actually. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Can we touch it? It's just a smooth surface. Oh, now there's a foot option. Okay, let's look around for a second. Looks freshly painted. No, not back. We're still there looking. Looks freshly painted. Okay. Foot option? Okay, let's try touching it. The paintwork feels very smooth, like it's just dried. The paintwork feels very smooth. I don't get what we're supposed to do with this, though. We dried it, so what? That's strange. The paint is still wet. Do we use this again? Okay, so we come over here. Do we use the towel some more? I used the towel. Oh, yeah, there we did use it again. What's this? Oh, we went inside. Another room full of paintings. Who would have thunk? The face. It can't be. Nice, uh, nice to meet you. My name is Nessa. And, uh, Jaina, that's an unusual name. Is it an alias, or...? No, it's my real name. I'm just Eshua. It's Eshina. There's no doubt about it. The very same one who modeled for me last year. The painting shows a young man with a haughty expression. No, on second thought, he's not haughty so much as he looks self-absorbed. A dreamer's eyes. A self-plate under it reads, self-portrait. Can we feel it? I can't reach it from here. Anyway, I don't think I want to mess with it unless I really have to. It looks ruined enough with the white paint splashed on it. And according to our notebook, there's a plus on it, so it's probably easy uh, we have an artist note. Okay. How long, uh, how long more am I going to be led by that nose from one place to another? What is this? Hide and seek? Something else new. Ashana, that's what all this has been leading to. The Bayer Foundation project. I've been trying to forget about it. It was a huge project. The biggest that I've had, I've never undertaken ever or since. It was going to be my big break. The one that finally lifted me from my obscurity. That made up for the thousand little insults and spites that I've had to suffer over the years. It was going to launch my career. I put my heart and soul into it. I hired a model for a month. And most of that, I and the most... The most I've ever spent on a model. Her name was Eshina. She was beautiful. She was always patient, very perceptive, very serious in her work. I usually try to be kinder and more patient towards my models, because they may not be used to modeling for art rather than, say, fashion. But Eshina was different. She always knew exactly what I was looking for. It could have gone so well. Alright. So we're looking around all through here. What do they call this style? Pointillism? Whatever it is, someone obviously hated it enough to put a huge tear in it and splash it with paint. I've tried pulling the tear in the canvas wider, but all I see is a blank wall beneath. I've made enough jokes about paintings back in the <laughs> gallery. Okay, that's a pretty good point. Okay, let's see. How about the fireplace? That's the fireplace that I came out of. Oh, we came out of the fireplace? Just call me Santa. <laughs> It's pitch black outside. Can't see a thing. An unused artist canvas. Dusty, yellow, and smells bad too. 
This is the neatest studio I've ever seen. Sure puts mine to shame. It looks like a poster for an art exhibition. Robert's Moods, presented by the Bayer Foundation, 1217 September. The Bayer Foundation. Those are the same guys who sponsored the project I did with Eshina. This painting gives me the creeps for some reason. Anyway, it's pretty well sliced up. Is that a knife in there? It's Tari talking to it. I'd rather not, thanks. I, yeah, anyways, let's just take the knife. Okay, uh, anything else that we can observe from this one? The girl in the paint looks like Alice, or Eshina, whatever the hell her name is. Oh, is Alice Eshina? Okay, there's nothing to say. It's painted on an ordinary canvas. It's also firmly fixed to the wall. I can't budge it. Alright, so let's look at our inventory. So we picked up a knife. Let's take a look at it. An ordinary yellow box cutter. It's really sharp. I've got to be careful carrying this around. Okay, so we close it. Okay. Okay, I should be able to pull off the canvas now. Ooh, well that's pleasant. It's a panel with the chalk outline of a girl on it. There's a cavity in the middle of the drawing with a hole in the middle, and I think that's red paint around the cavity. Thank God it's not blood. It's a panel with chalk... Yeah, okay. It's a letter. The handwriting looks like Alice's. So let's first read the letter. Or talk to it. It's a bad habit. This need to talk to myself. Anything with the face? I'll just take the ring. Looks like I should be able to pull the panel out, but there's nothing for me to get a good grip on. If I had something that could screw into the hole... Okay, let's read what the letter says first. I thought you really cared about me, but it was always about you. I hated you. I wanted to hurt you, but how do you hurt someone who only cares about himself? I realized that the answer was, kill him. So I did. I don't feel bad. There's nothing else on the back. Okay. Anyways, continuing our looking arounds. Anything else we can do here? Uh, let's touch and feel things then. Anything else on the blank wall? Okay. I can't really reach from here uh, until you have a need to. How about this painting? I feel a powerful urge to keep the painting, but I can't. It's too big for me to carry around. It feels like there's a drought coming from me somewhere. It's freezing cold. Okay, I guess that's a clue. Why would I want to lug this thing around? I don't want the poster. That window's not opening anytime soon. It's sealed shut. That's strange. Then where's the drought coming from? I try... Uh, maybe there's a thing behind me. Yep. There we go. Yep, there's more to the studio. A night scene of the city in green. There's no accounting for the taste. That one's battered old sink. That's one battered old sink. The landscape has been deliberately ripped with a sharp object. Not only is this place ridiculously neat, but where's the door out of here? A stack of paperwork. Bills, letters, ledgers... I've got a similar stack back in my studio to go through. If I ever get back. There's a clay jar filled with muddy brown water. There's a clay jar... Uh, no, anyways, uh, let's see, let's touch some things now. I can't... Okay, I can reach through the hole in the painting, but I can't feel anything behind me except blank wall. The water is running for some reason. That comes as a surprise to me. Is it just me or is it freezing in here? Not much use for it now, is there? I've got enough problems of my own, thanks. Just the sound of sloshing water? Hey, there was a rattle when I shook this thing. There's something inside that jar. I'll just find out what's inside this thing. Uh, it's just me or is it freezing in here? No, it, uh, no use. It wouldn't make me or the painting feel better. There obviously is no one here to talk to. Anything but the kitchen sink. 
Forget it. There's obviously, anyways, though, uh, so we got some new stuff to look at. First of all, the vase has me curious. The mouth of the jar is too small for my hand to reach in. I've got to find some other way to get whatever is inside. How about smash the pot? That's just an idea. I can't reach in. Let's read the letter, then. Yeah, I was going to say a letter came with this, too. I recalled that, so... Letter. I can't believe what you've done to me. I, who have never harmed a fly. What have you done to deserve having my life's work obliterated in an instant? Do you know what you've killed What you've killed me? That, do you know that you've killed me? But I've kept you alive. You couldn't bring yourself to destroy your own image, and so you didn't discover that one last work. It's my revenge. After that, I will leave this world forever. Goodbye, and may fate look upon you with the same cruelty that she visited on me. It's signed, R. Quite the melodramatic artist. There's nothing else written on it. Alright, so I have an idea of what we might have to do. Just an idea, though. I'll equip this pot, just because I can, I guess. So this is the only paint I can see of himself. Uh, let's see, maybe pot. I can't reach it from here. Tossing ram, toss ram things at this painting wouldn't be helpful anyway. What else do we have in our inventory right now still? I still have the key and the magazine and files, but I'm pretty sure the pot has to go inside this hole. But I'll, I guess I can try it. Or that's not it at all. Okay, I need to first... Probably the grip thing is inside the pot, but I don't know where to put the pot to. I don't want to do anything to that painting. I need to take a closer look at it first. Oh, so maybe this painting is for this? That won't help me much. Oh, a way to get my hopes up and then shatter them. I don't think that'll help. It's no use. There's nothing I can do to pry that window open. I need to take a closer look at it first, okay? That won't help me much. Uh, I thought I was onto something. Uh, what to do with a pot? The the not only uh, okay. Uh, can't think of anything. Guess I'll take the pot again. Maybe the water. I poured out the water. The rattling's louder now. It's a pretty heavy object in there, and it sounds like metal. That's not gonna help. Mouth of the jar, okay. I've got to find some other way to get whatever's inside. Probably something which I have with me, maybe? Doesn't really look like it. I'm pretty sure I can't smash this with anything else, which I have in my inventory right now. If only I didn't throw away the knife, that would have been a good idea. But I did, so whatever. Maybe I can take it to Zalewski, maybe he'll have the answers or something. It's a decorative fireway, so there's no chimney. This thing doesn't lead anywhere. It's, I've got to find another way out. Okay, so there is another way somewhere or another through here. It feels like there's a drop coming out from somewhere. It's freezing. So the answer has to come from around here. All right, mysterious, mysterious. Let's look at everything again. There can't be too much to interact with, though, because there's only two areas in this whole place. I have no ideas right now. I'll feel everything, look at everything. I, why can't you just smash it on the floor? That would solve everything. Hopefully it would, and not make things all worse. So he keeps on saying it's freezing in here, so obviously that's some sort of clue, but the only thing I can think of is this, but I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to do with it. Maybe the not this letter, but this letter. I don't know. It's the only thing I can think of. All right, so I will be back with you guys when I figure out the solution to this. VRB.